Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful Bicons and Seed Beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos, it's usually two times a week and when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and I have a tutorial for similar pattern but for pendant and I'll link it here at the eye icon and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and what's new that I started a second channel you could go and subscribe there and there I have a fast preview. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads here. I use chameleon color and silver color and this is light blue color and these are bicons that are 8 millimeters. These are ear wires. This is fire line that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice like monofilament. Here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult bead. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up four of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have my four here and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and the knot I'm making here the way I showed you so many times I'm making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I pull then I make one more knot and this knot is really secure it's called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot Okay, and then I'm going through the following silver bead, okay, just like this. Now guys, I have this and I will also go through the next silver. And I'm going to take eight of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay, I have eight beads here. And I will go back through this silver bead in a circle. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm going in my following silver. And what I want to take this time are seven chameleon beads. Okay, I have seven here. And uh, as I'm exiting from this silver, I'm going through one of my previous uh, chameleon beads of my previous loop and when I go back like this I still have 8 beads in one loop but this one is shared between those two neighbor elements or loops okay then I go in my next silver and I will repeat the same thing I, I'm going to take 7 of this beautiful chameleon. Okay, I have my seven here and I go through this chameleon and through the following silver. Okay, now I have this and in my next step guys I go through the silver here and through the following chameleon bead of the very first loop of eight beads that I did. And this time I will take only six of these beautiful beads. Okay, six. And I will go through one of the camellias of my previous element. So I'm going through two uh, beads of my neighbor loops. And I add six so it makes eight again. 
in one loop okay then I'm exiting here and after I exit here you see where my thread is I will also go through the next three beads here in this direction and I'm here in the middle of my loop here I have one two three four beads one two three four beads and I'm here in the middle and I take just one silver then I after I take my silver I go through the following six beads three from this element three from this element not going through this one that is closer to the center okay and this is what I have then again I'm taking one silver and I go through the following six and now I'm in the center of my next loop okay and I will repeat this two more times okay guys and now I'm here at this silver bead at the edge and I'm going to take three silvers just like this and I will go back in circle through this silver one okay then I will go through the following chameleon beads from the outside to the center of my work and I'm going to take a chameleon a crystal and a chameleon this is what I have on my needle and I'm going here through this chameleon one bead before I reach the edge now I fix this to stay really close to the center like this and pull okay then I go through the following silver take three silvers go back here and if you can in the same movement go through the following of these beautiful chameleon beads okay then I take one chameleon one bicon one chameleon okay go here Okay, pull tight through the following silver and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row Okay guys, and now I'm here at the end of my row and what I want to do is go here through my crystal. This is my goal to exit through one of my crystals. And now I'm going to take three of these beautiful chameleon beads and go here through this silver. Then again I take three chameleons go through the crystal just like this okay three more go here three go here and i will continue this two more times and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. I'm going through my crystal and now what I want to do is go through these three beads and exit out of this silver here. And here what I need are three more chameleon beads. Okay, I have them. And as I'm exiting from this golden bead, I'm going back through it in this direction. Okay, I have this then I go through these three beads 
And what I need to take here are three chameleons, one silver and three chameleon beads. And then I go through these three beads here in this direction and even through the silver if you can in one movement. Okay, and I pull. Here what I need are three beads, okay, like this. Go here. And of course, if you can, go through the following three as well to save time. And pull. Three, one, three. Okay, here they are. Through the next four, exiting and aiming for the silver. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and now what I want to do here is go around the edge of my work just like this to reinforce it and in this way I'm making a new thread path and my work will look better after I finish with this thread path. Okay, just go around through all of your beads here. This is not obligatory, but I find that the final work looks much better if you do this. Okay, so I will continue this process and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here. I just reinforced this whole row here. And what I want to do as I'm exiting from this silver is take three more silvers, go back through it and through the following chameleon bead. Okay. Then here I want to take a chameleon, a bicon and a chameleon. And I'm going here through this top bead that's sticking out the most, just like this. And here I need again chameleon, bicon, chameleon. And I go one bead before this bead that's sticking out the most, the silver one. And I pull tight. Then I need three more silvers. Go back here and also go through the following chameleon. Then I need a chameleon, a bicon, and a chameleon. And I go here. Again, chameleon, bicon, chameleon. Go through these two at the top. Three silvers. like this and through the silver and through the following chameleon and then I will continue this until the end of this row the same way Okay, and I'm exiting here and now what I want to do is reinforce my work one more time and by the way if you want your work to stay 
not to move around, not to be soft, but uh, to stay in a better shape, it's a good idea to reinforce all the time, not only at the edge, but also the inner rows. And in this way, you will have a nice looking earring. If you uh, haven't reinforced up until now, you could do it now. At this stage, just go inside, reinforce. If you used monofilament, probably you won't need this step. But the fire line is stronger and uh, if you want to do it with fire line, it's a good idea to do those steps. Okay, and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and I'm exiting here at this silver. And here I'm going to take this ear wire and I'm taking one chameleon bead going through my ear wire and then I take one more chameleon and I go back here through this loop just like this. Okay, then what I want to do is go in this direction and find a place to make a knot. Let's say I will make here a knot at the edge and I'm making it by making a loop and then going once and going second time through this loop I've made. And then I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Okay, and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my white bicons and seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way you will know when I make uh, new tutorials, usually two times a week, and when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And uh, down there in the description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store, and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And also, as I announced soon, uh, you will be able to see the short clip that is high-speed preview of this tutorial and decide whether to make it or not. And it is on my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips. Okay, that was all for me. Bye-bye.